Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Just a, another quick video for you to show you how to do a transparent widget on Widgie. So you can put anything on the screen and the background will be shown as the wallpaper. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Widgie and I'm going to use an already created widget. Uh, this affirmation widget we created earlier in the in the series. We're going to go over to manage and set transparent background. I'm going to delete these because I put them in earlier and we're going to go to our home screen. So to get started, we're going to hold down or press down and it's going to get wait until we've got the jiggle and we're going to scroll over and take a screenshot. That will ensure that we've got a perfect picture of our background. We're going to go back to Widgie and we're going to add that screenshot to both slots. You don't have to add it to both if you're going to use dark mode or light mode only, but I always add it to both. And we're going to wait for this to generate. And now we're ready with our background set up. We can now go over to the widget we wish to create. Let's go over to create and press the widget. We can add a new widget if we like. I'm going to just edit this one as a copy because it's one I've already made. And if you want to know how to make this, there's a video on my channel. So I'm going to hide the text because I'm going to use that later. I'm just going to add the grid and I'm going to delete the shape because that's no longer needed. I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to change the image. We're going to leave the tap shortcut. So um, I'll show you how to do that later on in the video on a different widget. But for now, we're going to leave that and I'm going to change the image to a transparent background. So we're going to press the little image icon and go down to Widgie and you can see loads of transparent background options. I'm going to use transparent background high quality. We're going to go back and we're just going to check that it's worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the home screen and let's see where the widget's located. And it's in the top right corner there. We've got a large widget here. So we're expecting to see the blue and purple panes of wood, but we're actually seeing the orange and yellow. So I'm going to go to this grid in the top right hand corner and I'm going to press widget position. And you can see the select the top right of the widget position and press the tick. And now we can see the right color panes of wood. So we're going to go back to the menu. And there we have it, you can see. So when you press it, it unfortunately doesn't save the location that you've already put it in, but we'll fix that in a second. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go over to manage. Now we're going to select the slot that we want to put it in, which is layer six, and we're going to select our widget. And this is where we can put it back in that uh, slot we need and that will lock it in. So if I go to the home screen now, you'll see that we have a perfectly placed widget. So next I'm going to try a different widget. Let's go for the extra large. So I'm going to go back to Widgie and we're going to go over to create and we're going to go and start our next one. So I'm actually going to click the one we've just created and I'm going to click edit as a copy. And then I'm going to go over to the settings. It's two over from the left and we're going to go down to widget size and press the plus to change it to extra large. So that one's pretty much done. So the next few steps are exactly the same. So I'm going to fast forward through those and you can watch them back later if you didn't catch them. And there we have our second widget perfectly in place. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to start the medium one. I am going to do this one slightly different. We're going to do still do the same as we did last time. And we're going to select this widget here that we've already created and edit as a copy. And these steps are exactly the same, so I'm just going to fly through these. And obviously we've changed it to medium this time, so I've had to press minus on the setting. And this one I'm going to change the text um, just to give it a bit of variety, so I'm going to turn that into an image. And we're just going to pick a random image from an API. So I'm going to go to the API list, and I'm going to go to Unsplash just to get an image. So I'm going to go to the top, and I'll type in Beach. And I'll just get a nice picture for our widget. So I'm just going to resize this. So just to remind you, we go over to the little hashed box. We're going to press negative and minus to make change the size. You can change those settings at the top in the bar. And the position is just the arrows in the direction. So we're going to get that in the middle. And that looks pretty good. So this gives our widgets just a little bit of variety. And then the final widget, I'm actually going to create one. So if you just press create, we're going to go for a small one this time. 
I'm going to call this one transparent. So this is just to show you those who haven't seen my other videos how to create our background. So I'm going to add a quick group and we're going to call that background. And we're going to add a new layer and we're going to use a tap action. We're going to click the little pointing finger in the top corner and press reload widget. And then we're going to add a new layer and we're going to add our image. This image will be the background. So we're going to resize this to the whole widget. And I should have done that with the tap action as well, but you can have the tap action anywhere you like. I like to have it covering the whole screen usually. So we're going to go and press the image icon, go down to Widgie and press transparent background like we did last time. And as you can see there, we now have our transparent background. And just to get a bit of variety, I'm going to add a smiley face using a symbol. So we're going to go over to add new layer and add symbol. And then we're going to go to the search by tapping the magnifying glass. And for this, I'm just going to type smile. You can type anything you like. There's play buttons. There's all sorts of smart buttons. But we're just going to have a nice smiley face. And I'm going to fill the screen with the smiley face. And that should be it. So I'm going to now go back to our home screen. I'm going to go down to manage. And I'm going to go to the widgets we haven't filled. So I'm going to scroll up to the medium widget number two and place in our latest one and find the selection. So let's go to the home screen and it's on the left hand side there. So we're going to press this one here and press tick. And then we're going to do the same with the small widget. And we're just going to place that where that was sat on the home screen. And with a bit of luck, we have just installed all of our widgets with transparent backgrounds. Now Widgie does a fantastic job of this. As you can see, there doesn't seem to be any mistakes. It sits perfectly. So before I finish, I'm just gonna rearrange these just to show you what it looks like when they're not in the right spot. And we'll just go do a quick tutorial on how to fix this. So we're gonna open Widgie. And we're going to go straight to manage we're already in manage so we're going to click on the widget we want to change and there's widget position at the top there we're going to press that and replace it with the widget space i'm just checking where it was so we're going to put it back in here and press done and that will change it to where we need it to be let's just give that a refresh and then finally we're going to do this one and put this back into place so we're going to open Widgie again, same process. We're going to click on the widget we want to move or change the background for. We're going to go widget position. We're going to select the area that it needs to be relocated. And we're going to press the tick. So that is it. We've now got our nicely placed widgets. I am going to challenge myself and try and figure out the solution to adding multiple backgrounds to iPad for focus modes. You can do this on the iPhone already, so I will do a tutorial on that, so stay tuned. I hope this video helped, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.